Professor Foster, you have been involved in eye care programs for the last three decades. In your experience, what would you say has been the strength, the impact of planning for prevention of blindness over the years? Thanks, Tasha. I think, I think to answer that question, I have to kind of go back to uh, what impact it's had on my life and to kind of explain that. So when I started, I was a young doctor and I went to Tanzania as an ophthalmologist. And for five years, I was working as an ophthalmologist, helping a lot of people, but basically doing clinics, doing theatre lists, routine, day after day after day, without actually thinking about what difference is it making. And then after five years, I came back to England. I was doing some more studies and I was on a course and the question was asked, what do you want to achieve before you die? And that question really hit home to me. Was I going to have a life that was just busy doing doing or did I actually want to achieve something and leave something behind, leave a legacy? So when I went back to Tanzania, I tried to put that thinking into action and began to think about, well, how do we want to plan the services at the hospital? How could we make them better? And how would they carry on when I left? And then from that, I started working with the Tanzania Ministry of Health and looking at eye services in Tanzania and how to plan those so that they were more equitable for people and more available. And then subsequently, after I left Tanzania, I had the opportunity to work with CBM internationally and to visit many countries and start thinking about the problem of global blindness. And the fact of the matter was 75% of blindness is avoidable. And so planning starts with why are you doing it? And the why was blindness is avoidable. Therefore, we have to do something about it. And instead of just doing, 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 it was to plan services either locally or at a district level or at a country level or internationally, but in order to achieve the prob or achieve overcoming the problem of avoidable blindness and thereby leaving a legacy for those that come after us. What would be your key take-home messages for anyone who has done this course and is working at a district level hospital? So key take-home message. I, I think one of the dangers is sometimes we overcomplicate things. So there's this idea of planning, you know, has to be a huge document and with objectives and strategies and all sorts of words and so on. So I think my key home message would be, first of all, keep it simple. Uh, make it understandable. Uh, you identify a problem and you want to see that problem addressed. You want to see change. And then how are you going to do that? And then do it. The second thing, keep it simple. Second, step by step. Do it bit by bit. Achieve the first step and then the second step and then the third step. Don't try and make it a big five-year plan where you're kind of thinking about all the resources that you need and you end up with a huge document and then nothing happens afterwards. So identify the problem, identify the change, keep it simple, go step by step. Remember it's about people and not about paper. It's about getting people to work with you on it, a team to address it. There's a very famous African saying which is, how do you eat an elephant? So the problem is how to eat an elephant. And the answer is you do it mouthful by mouthful, bit by bit, step by step, but with your friends. You can't do it alone. You have to have people with you. So you have to share the vision, share the idea, and then work together to address it. Keep it simple, step by step, with your friends, teamwork, essence of planning.